Hey, this is Russ. Time for another food review. <laughs> now, I always just mention now food review. I don't actually say fast food Fridays or foodie Tuesdays because I don't know when this is going to come out. <laughs> so you'll know what it is when you see it on the title of the video. But here's the thing. My wife said, it's almost three o'clock. You better order something before it's too late. <laughs> Here's why we have to order something before it's too late. I went to a local Chinese restaurant and uh, their cutoff point for lunch specials is three o'clock. So 2.55, <laughs> I made that phone call. So uh, we made some quick decisions as to what we wanted to get, to get for lunch specials. And yeah, we got it. So I told her, I says, you know, before you eat yours, I'm gonna eat some of it for the, for the food review. <laughs> she said, go ahead. So each of these lunch specials is $7.15 plus tax, whatever that comes out to be. I'll put the receipt up here so you can see what it is. But um, she ordered uh, beef with snow pea pods and fried rice, and I ordered Hunan beef with fried rice. Now, typically we order these without onions, as you know. So I usually tell them no onions, but they already know because you know when they see my phone number come through, they already know. <laughs> We've been there a number of times. And this is the place that I rode my bike once to, to pick up Chinese food. So this place is called Chopstick, and it's in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. So this place is actually a little farther for us than another Chinese restaurant that's actually closer to us. But we prefer to go here because the people are nicer, okay? So let's see what they got. Here's my wife's uh, dish. I'll show you real quickly here. And I'm not eating this in the car. <laughs> so here we go. This is... Um, all right, let's go over like this. This is the, um, what is this? This is the beef with snow pea pods and fried rice. And of course there's broccoli and there's uh, uh, carrots in here as well. And let me show you the other one too before I eat this. This is the Hunan beef. This is pretty heavy. <laughs> Start open it up properly here. This is the Hunan beef, okay? So you can see it's still piping hot. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of there or not. So what's in this thing? This is uh, beef, there's uh, carrots, there's snow pea pods, broccoli. <laughs> so it sounds like the same, right? What was hers? Beef with snow pea pods, Hunan beef. Um, I think it's just the, how hot this thing is going to be <laughs> you know, in, in terms of spicy level, right? Hunan beef should be a little spicier. Anything that says Hunan or Szechuan, yeah, it's going to be a little spicier. So um, $7.15. Now, last time we did a um, fast food Friday, we did uh, Panda Express. And I mentioned that you tend to get a lot more if you go to a standard Chinese restaurant. I can tell you, this thing weighs a ton, all right? It's not light in weight, so they do give you a lot. Um, and this is even with the price increase. <laughs> it was cheaper before. Uh, they used to actually give you a, a, um, a can of Coke along with it. They don't do that anymore, so that's where they're cutting back. But they're, at least they're not cutting back on the food that they're giving you. So that's a good thing. All right, so I think I will try hers first. I'm not going to eat hers all up. I, I just told her I was going to... Steal a little bit from her. Oh, and here's what else they give you for the seven dollars and fifteen cents. I'm reaching to the table there. Egg rolls. Let me show you the egg rolls here. So they give you two egg rolls because it's two orders. So this is this is their egg rolls. Okay, we'll have that a little later. And of course they give you fortune cookies. So. You can take uh, chopsticks, but I'm just gonna do it with a fork because I'm just kind of holding this here, so it's a little bit easier for me to do. So let me let me take my wife's. We'll give it a try. So again, this is the uh, beef with snow pea pods. It's a lot a lot of carrots in there. They should put the carrot name in there too. So let's see. Pea pods are good. Not as crunchy as typical pea pod. Let's try one of her beef. Yeah, it's very good. Try some of her um, carrots here. Those carrots might end up coming to me. She doesn't like cooked carrots. So <laughs> it, might, it might end up at my place again anyways. I'm not gonna eat her fried rice because 
we have our own. So, yeah, um, it's good. It's your typical, you know, soy sauce, um, some type of soy sauce type of uh, sauce on it. Um, yeah, it's good. I wanted, I wanted something with a little spice on there, so I ordered the Hunan beef version of it. Now, as I'm, as I'm looking at this, too, here's the Hunan beef. As I'm looking at this, I could see they have some black bean in there, too. The black bean has some certain flavors. Some people like black, 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 <laughs> black bean. Some people don't. Let's, let's try it. They got little, uh, looks like some type of zucchini thing here. They got a, a baby uh, corn in here as well. Let's, let's do the little zucchini thing. Try a piece of piece of broccoli. I can already just at that taste. I can already taste the uh, the the spice on it. <laughs> the black bean adds a lot. It does. It is an acquired taste. I don't think if, if you've never had it before, it probably take you a little bit by by surprise. But here's the beef. Yeah, there's there's that's there's definitely spice to this. You can taste taste the spice. Let's try their fried rice here. Pretty pretty good. Little light on the um, on the wok hay. The wok hay is the breath of the wok. This is the thing that you know, people say. Oh, the, the Chinese food has a certain taste to it from a restaurant, but I can't get it at home. That's the wok hay we're talking about. Um, we talked about this on the on the um, Panda Express video, where you know when the cook moves the wok a lot, the fire tends to come over the top, and it kind of kind of ignites some of the the oil droplets that are happening when they're doing stir frying, and that gives you that that uh, wok type flavor. They could probably use a little bit more of that wok hay, but at least it's not burnt. <laughs> All right, let's try another beef. And the fried rice at the same time. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> the, the fried rice has um, some bean sprouts in it. Now, I told them uh, no onions and no garlic, which is typically how we order our stuff. Now, some stuff, of course, has garlic. I mean, the sauce that they were usually pre-make will have garlic in there. We just don't ask them to add additional garlic. And, and onions on it. Yeah. <clears throat> this is how Chinese food should taste like, okay? There's so much sauce on here. <clears throat> you have to eat it with fried rice. Otherwise, um, Otherwise, it could be too powerful, quite frankly. And some uh, peppers in here, too. Make a mess. Yeah, I like it. I think this is the first time I ordered Hunan beef from them. I usually order... I order stuff like... Uh, the... Uh, Orange chicken, <laughs> sesame chicken, honey chicken. Okay, look, orange chicken, sesame chicken, honey chicken, they're all the same thing, all right? It's just a different sauce that they put it in, but it's essentially the same thing. They're going to fry that chicken piece in uh, some type of batter, fry it all up, then they put it into the sauce, okay? General Tso's chicken. Come on, that's that's all the same stuff. It's just a different type of sauce. This, this is more Chinese-oriented. I mean... Even just the addition of the black bean turns it more of a more authentic Chinese dish. Yeah. Some mushrooms. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You know what? If you can go to a Chinese, you, you want a Chinese uh, dish, go, go, go and get something from a Chinese restaurant. I'm going to tell you real quickly. They're going to give you a lot more for the money. Uh, this was $7.15 plus tax. 
Come on, look look at what we paid at uh, Panda Express. I don't know what the exact amount was. Eight dollars and ninety something cents, something like that, plus tax. You didn't get a egg roll. You have to pay extra for that. You get a lot more of this. I mean, literally, if you ate this for lunch, this could be your lunch and your dinner. I mean, there's that much stuff in here. So uh, I'm not gonna eat it all, you know, in one sitting. I usually sp split it in half. If you try to eat it all in one sitting, forget it. There goes your diet, <laughs> right? If you if you did this for your lunch and your dinner, take the seven fifteen divide it in half, right? So it's really a, an economical way to do it, and you're gonna get some really good food. It's nice and hot. Let me say something about chopsticks. The lady there is really nice. <clears throat> this is why I go back there all the time. Not necessarily that they're the best Chinese restaurant around. There's others that are, I will admit, are better. But, um, you know, the, the lady's nice nice there. The guy who's there, he's really nice. The, the people make the difference. You know, if you're going to order food, you, you don't want to be uh, known as a number, right? You know, when you walk in, they say hello to you. They, they recognize you. Um, it makes a, a world of difference to me. So let's, let's try a Negro. Let's try a Negro. Now, the Negro... I always pick up this uh, sweet and sour sauce. Now, sometimes the sweet and sour sauce, they'll call it duck sauce. I don't know why they, <laughs> why they call it duck sauce. Nobody puts it on duck. And they make these things so hard, it's always hard to tear open. So, well, I was pretty lucky this time. So I, here's what I do. I usually bite the top off of a Negro. Then I pour on some sauce. Because it fits into the egg roll easier. <laughs> Let's give it a try. This is your typical egg roll. It's got cabbage. I think you taste a little bit of peanut butter in here. Um, little bit of meat <laughs> I think they used to give you a lot more meat it used to be like some chasu in here not anymore <laughs> I mean, they got to cut back somewhere I guess the thing is I know Chinese restaurants they don't really want to raise the price they really don't so they um, they have to cut back on this or that here or there let's try it again yeah What's your typical egg roll? Uh, personally, for me, I prefer spring rolls. Here's the difference between spring roll and egg roll, in case you don't know. I'll give you a Chinese uh, cuisine lesson here. Spring rolls, the skin is a lighter type of skin. Okay, it's very flaky. Egg rolls, it's it's more like a wonton skin, so it's it's harder and crunchier. All right. I think you'll find more Chinese people would prefer the spring roll over the egg roll, but the egg roll is more known uh, in the United States. I think that's what most people expect, so this is how they make it. But if you if you went to uh, like dim sum, which is like a, like a luncheon type of thing with Chinese people, they're not gonna order egg rolls. They're gonna order spring rolls, okay? It's, it's a lighter feel to it. This, this, the skin is tight, uh, it's, it's heavier. Yeah, we, we prefer a lighter crunch to it. So, and you could get spring rolls, you know, at some places. You just have to order it that way. All right, let's put the sauce back on here again. <laughs> I'm reaching over the top to do this. Yeah, I couldn't do it in my car, so I decided, well, bring it home. Need a napkin. Well, Kleenex. <laughs> works all right what else do we have here <laughs> fortune okay fortune cookie let's try the fortune cookie it's kind of a generic fortune cookie <clears throat> tastes like all the other fortune cookies <laughs> I'm making a mess. 
Something huge is about to click for you. Something huge is about to click for me. Then they give me uh, a series of numbers. 1, 5, 19, 43, 55, and 60. Supposedly, if I play these numbers on the lottery, I might win. And then the back says FTX. I don't know what that is. <laughs> is that the company who made this? Is it an ad or something? I've seen some where the ad that they put on an ad on fortune cookies that just drives me nuts it's an it's an ad for a company sometimes i've seen banks advertise <laughs> on fortune cookies that's not chinese fortune cookies come on get that stuff off of there anyways <laughs> i'll put a link to uh chopsticks in the description below if you're in this area want to give them a try give them a try give them support it's nice people there uh you'll like their stuff Lunch specials, okay, until 3 p.m. All right, and I think that's daily. Yeah, because uh, as I'm recording this, today is Saturday. <laughs> that's why my wife is around. And um, yeah, lunch specials till 3 o'clock. Pretty good. Call me at 2.55, get a lunch special. <laughs> now, sadly, I had already eaten some stuff for lunch, so I'm not that hungry right now. So anyways, uh, you get a lot. This is going to be my dinner, essentially. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time.